All right, we'll start with opening remarks from Coach. <laughs> That's a wild game. Two really good teams. You know, obviously they made some more plays than we did. And, and, uh, but I, I, I'm proud to be in my locker room. I'm proud to be the head coach at Lenore Ryan. Our kids got behind, kept playing, kept trying to find ways. They, they didn't lay down, they didn't quit. And we had a chance. You know, we had a chance when maybe, maybe we shouldn't have had a chance. And uh, I got a great group of kids. These are two seniors here. Um, I came in two years ago and it was a little bit of a mess. And these guys did everything I asked them to do. And they're gonna walk out of here and be great men. All these seniors I have are gonna be great husbands, great fathers. They're gonna be millionaires. Um, because they've, they've learned how to love each other and work together and, and just do the little things. And, you know, to make that big of a turnaround and for us to be a national contender now uh, is truly a blessing. And it's because of these kids, because they, because they trusted me and trusted our staff. And I'm really, really proud of them. And they, and they played their guts out today. Coach, all in all, this is a historic season. Uh, in really the past two years, can you talk on that development and then, Ronnie, how you've seen it from a player standpoint, how much has changed? Well, I mean, we've worked these guys hard and we've held them accountable. And they, we were very blessed to have some early success last fall and it just kind of, you know, reiterated, you know, if you do those things, you're, you're going to have a chance to be successful. Um, and we lost a few kids, you know, some kids that didn't want to be a part of that, but 95% of them hung with it, and and they've earned these opportunities. Um, so to watch that happen uh, has been an unbelievable blessing for me. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? So how you've seen the team develop over the year? Okay, so over this past year? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, we really built off last year, like Coach said. Um, as a group, I feel like we were a lot more committed. Uh, we came into practice with a new mindset. We came into uh, um, weightlifting with a new mindset um, and we were just able to you know capitalize off of what we did in the past year and we were able to uh, um, we weren't starting from scratch so we weren't playing the underdog all season we felt like we were really at the top and we really wanted to uh, develop ourselves because of that so I felt like it had a positive effect rather than a negative effect that we had won all those games. We didn't get complacent, and that's something I'm super proud of the guys for. They just kept working, kept grinding, and uh, really loved to play in the season. So. Clayton, we had spoken right before the first game of the season. You said we have a really good base for our defense set up. There's a couple areas we want to see improve that can take us into postseason. Mm -hmm. How did you see the defense change, and how do you think that led us to going so far into the season? I mean, you just saw a lot of guys who, who had experience, um, so I mean that helps. Like you know, from like an understanding uh, point, you know the guys just knew what they were doing, understood what the defense was supposed to be doing, or what what we were trying to accomplish, and um, you know I'm really proud of the way the guys on the defensive line played up front. Um, as a as a linebacker, if you have a good defensive line, then it makes your job really easy. And uh, all season long, those guys were were uh, keeping keeping offensive line. Off, offensive linemen off of me and allowing me and Sherrod to make plays. So I want to give a big shout out to them. And then uh, we had a lot of guys just all over the defense who've been here from day one when I got here. And uh, you know, we've been through a lot together. And, we've, and we just, I just, this year we just really saw it all come together. And uh, I had a lot of fun with those guys. So. Uh, Coach, talk about this, this West Florida team, obviously. Uh, a vaunted passing attack there. Mm -hmm. talk, talk about that. Well, first of all, congratulations to West Florida, you know, and, and uh, Coach Shinnick to do what they've done in, in a short period of time is really amazing. And uh, obviously, outstanding staff. Uh, they got a lot of really good players. The quarterback just kept making throws. I mean, he just kept putting the ball in places where, you know, and they had, you know, 80, I think it was 88 the receiver was made a ton of third down catches. I mean, they just made, they made, they made plays. And, um, you know, defensively, uh, they were athletic, you know, and, and ran to the ball. And, you know, I thought what was critical was in the, in the third, I thought we moved the ball well in the third quarter, but we just came up with one field goal out of those first two drives. Um, but then we, uh, we I think we, they scored and we had, Jace had the long run down the left sideline and we, we punched it in. And then, of course, Landon had the big interception. So it kind of swung the momentum back. And, 
we just didn't do, didn't do quite enough at the at the end. Um, but uh, West Florida has, I think, has a really good team. Has a chance to win, to win the whole. I'd love for to see them win the whole thing. To be honest with you, I think they do it the right way. I thought their kids played hard. They played with class. Um, you know, and you always kind of want to <laughs> say, "Hey, we almost beat the, <laughs> you know, national champion." I guess is 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 a positive thing. But uh, um, I think they have a chance to continue on, and and uh, they've gone on the road. They've run, I think, seven road games in a row. So uh, outstanding football team. Yeah, I know you also talked about, regardless of the outcome today, you want to see great effort from your guys. Mm -hmm. Talk about the effort you saw today. Well, we just kept playing, and it's something we've harped on, and, and coming from behind and giving yourself a chance to win, not giving up. Just keep competing. Even when somebody makes a play on you, keep competing. Keep hanging in there. Something good's going to happen. Um, you know, and we just needed one more good thing to, to happen. It could have really could have gone either way at the end, and and uh, we took a shot down the field to Quay there at the end, and and uh, their kid made a really nice play. I thought that kid really made a really nice play on the two-point conversion, too. You know, because I felt like we had a chance to hit the guy in the flat. And I think it was number seven, who's a really good safety, um, made a nice play to get his hand on on the ball as we were trying to trying to get it out there in the flat. So the kid, they they made some critical key plays, and and uh, so they deserved to win. Why don't you individually um, maybe just sum up the season? Um, thirteen wins to start it. The only team in all of college football division one, two, or three to be thirteen and zero. To get to this point where only eight teams are left playing, what does that mean to each of you individually and you for the entire program? Okay. Uh, for me, you know, I, I really want to say like the community, the way the community supported us um, from the very beginning. Um, you know, I had people messaging me on Facebook, all all social media platforms all the time, coming up to me after the game, hitting my phone up. You know, I just really appreciate the way that uh, they supported us all year. And uh, just it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun to have that, to be 13 and 0, to, to keep winning. You know, finding ways to win each week. It was just a lot of fun, and I, I really enjoyed this season. Um, and I'll miss all the guys, and I'll miss I'll miss football. <clears throat> um, I mean, right now it kind of hurts a little bit, but you know, I think I can look back on this season and be really proud of what we accomplished. Um, I thought as a unit we came together and we really became a family over the past two years, including this year. And uh, I just think the guys did a really great job. I'm really proud of where we're at and where we're going to get. So, so yeah. Any other questions? I think, too, the message to our team was at the beginning of the season, you know, when you when you do it when nobody's expecting you to. That's pretty awesome. But when you come back and do it again when they are expecting you to, that's hard. And I'm really proud of our kids for doing that. We're a whisker away from playing in the semifinals. Obviously, we want to play another another game. That didn't happen. And God is good, and we'll grow. Um, but I couldn't be, I promise you, I'd, I'd rather be sitting in this locker room than that one because, I, because these guys have given me everything they got. They're a joy to be around, and we're blessed. Thanks, guys.